Arriving at the Elysee in Paris, white helmets, volunteers and doctors from Aleppo, the Syrian city devastated by Russian and regime airstrikes. French President François Hollande praised the volunteers' courage and called the situation in Aleppo intolerable. He promised to do all that he could to extend a temporary ceasefire called by Moscow in a later meeting with Russia's president. I will do everything to make sure this ceasefire is extended so that it can serve to bring in humanitarian aid. That means supporting you, the white helmets, the people, so that you can have a city that will continue to exist. Pushing Aleppo's people out of the city is out of the question. The head of the White Helmets had tough words for the international community, he said, had failed ordinary Syrians. Frankly, we're going through a humanitarian crisis, a humanitarian disaster that the world hasn't seen for a hundred years. And I think the international community's credibility is no longer at stake because it has been lost in this Syrian case. The White Helmets are a team of nearly 3,000 volunteers. After each airstrike, they're the first on the scene. Through dust and rubble, they risk their lives in order to rescue others. In the past two years, they've saved 60,000 people, many of them young children. Hundreds of humanitarian workers, including White Helmets, have died on rescue missions in Aleppo. But despite the risk and the difficult conditions for many of those helping to save lives, well, they say they won't leave their city. It's their home. And uh, nobody asks the uh, human being to leave his home. Uh, really, there is a severe a disaster inside the city. On Tuesday, French parliamentarians gave the White Helmets a standing ovation. During their visit to France, the volunteers have been treated as heroes. But they say what's needed are not honours, but urgent help to stop a conflict which is killing their people. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.